If you're a fan of The Hunger Games, then stick around, because you're about to get 12 behind-the-scenes facts about the first movie in the series. The young actors did most of their own stunts. Jennifer Lawrence trained for eight weeks in martial arts, archery, and sprinting. Josh Hutcherson, on the other hand, didn't have much combat training because PETA hardly had any fight scenes. But even still, he had a strict weightlifting program and ate tons of chicken to build 15 pounds of muscle. Some of the capital actors were first considered for a lead role. Before being cast as Cato, Alexander Ludwig met with studio executives to play PETA. And Isabel Furman was a huge fan of the books, but in the audition, Furman was told she was too young for Katniss and too old for Prim, so she was considered for Clove instead. Effie Trinket's name is literally unheard of. Elizabeth Banks' outlandish character played a vital role in the story and has become an iconic character from the franchise, but her name is never mentioned in this movie. Woody Harrelson rejected the role of Hamish at first, but the director Gary Ross called Harrelson up to say that he had to do it because he didn't want anyone else to play the part. Luckily for Ross, the odds were in his favor because Woody Harrelson reconsidered and accepted the role. The suckling pig was actually real, and not just one was used, but three of them were prepared beforehand to make sure they always had a fresh-looking pig on screen during the long hours of filming. The Hunger Games had a total of 1,200 visual effects shots, which is the same amount that it can take to create an entire 90-minute animated movie. The 100-degree weather was so hot and unbearable while filming the games that Jennifer Lawrence started to wear biker shorts under her cargo pants so she could drop her pants around her ankles to cool off between takes. Flocks of turkeys kept ruining the takes around the cornucopia because they repeatedly walked into the background of the shots during filming. Smooth and polished camera work was avoided at all costs and shaky cams were used instead because Gary Ross didn't want to portray the violence as entertainment since that would have been completely contrary to the movie's purpose. Levin Rambin, who played Glimmer, was covered in prosthetics for the Tracker Jacker attack, but the largest prosthetics were put on a dummy, so Levin wouldn't have to suffer the discomfort of wearing them herself. Shooting in the wild came with its fair share of dangers. At the end of the day, the actors had to wear gloves to take off their boots to avoid getting poison ivy on their skin. The worst part, though, is that venomous snakes were common to find, and one was discovered near Josh Hutcherson while he was camouflaged as The Rock. President Snow is barely seen in the movie. Many great movie villains have very little screen time compared to the heroes, and President Snow is no different, because Donald Sutherland had less than 10 minutes of screen time in the entire film. Click a video on the screen to keep learning more fun facts about your favorite films.